Oh, we have uh, Kia Yang Sing here. Emma, Emma, Mavi. How are you? I'm good, good I'm morning. blessed. Yeah, you look very African. I love your dress. This one to buy. I enjoy your boy clothing. Wow. Hey, this yeah. woman is taking over. I enjoy your boy. Does she rest at all? Looks like no, she, she does. lives she's for always you. on the move. Mama be no, gives she, her no rest. She lives for yeah. anybody who wants to get in touch. Looks like she lives yeah. for you. Yeah. But, but I like her attention to detail. Yeah. Yeah. And mine too is by Alice Coco, <laughs> based in Teba. Please, you can call her 020. The rest you can contact me for. And uh, this one is by uh, please uh, Robert and Sons. <laughs> oh, they well, my glasses are yeah. by Robert and okay, Sons. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah. I thought now they ventured into you know yeah. these days subsidiaries, yes. conglomerates, multinationals. Indeed. But those who made my morning attire, they are not <laughs> nearby for me to thank them. Kojo uh, <laughs> is always abroad. Me. Oh, how? Well, you know, Kay Youngson. It, it happens. This I is the day, Yankson. right? This is the day. Mm. Uh, Kofi Annan yeah. has been laid you in know, state for three, for two days now. And uh, this is the final day when we send him off uh, saying goodbye. Uh, but this is one of those rare moments when we're not tearing, right? We're not crying because he lived a good life. He was a good man. He, he Mama v, I'm just watching your shot. You look so beautiful. <laughs> Say, thank you. Say, thank you. Be romantic for thank once. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, so we'll continue celebrating a global icon indeed, Kofi Annan, today. Uh, and this is the beginning of our coverage. It starts uh, from the morning. So from now until we finally lay him to rest, we're on that beat. Trust that you can get all the latest news from the conference center, from the final, um, the cemetery sites, all here on Joy News. Why are you guys looking at me like that? No, but you look. You am look I, like am I, you like, like I'm your Otiku. TV? Am you I look, your TV? You look like Otiku Akisa Jam. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. I love her. So, th so that's down. a good thing. Yeah. yeah. I tried to do Could that. Could you use thing. a phrase? You were not in then. It says, um, Kofiana going beyond. What beyond? Oh, I said he starts his peaceful journey into the beyond. Please give me a single shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 What's this? I'm shy. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but um, it's true, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, he's, um, uh, it, it, the, our belief tells us that death is a journey, mm -hmm. and his journey begins now. Of course, the quality of that journey depends on the quality of the life you've lived, yeah. in which case Kofi Annan is traveling first class. Because he's uh, certainly <laughs> lived a great life, hasn't he? Maybe by our standards. And because of him, we have, we have people <laughs> who have never been to Ghana, but they're here for the first time. Yes. We have incredible people visiting yeah. us for the first time. I, I don't Ghana. know whether that also gives some credence to the story I saw yesterday, linked to the tourism minister saying that um, his uh, demise is good for Ghana's tourism industry and all that. I it's easy to say that, but how have we taken advantage of yeah, that? Great. We knew this was going to happen yeah. after 18th of August. We knew the focus and attention. Well, that, there's no I mean, point even BBC, years later having a pothole on the road that leads to the cemetery where he's buried, mm -hmm. for example. You know, I'm not sure we're taking advantage of that in yeah. terms of what are we selling to the people who Appropriate. are here? What kind of packages do we have? There ought to have been a plan. Yeah. You're right. Appropriate. You know, some I sort agree. of conversation in the tourism uh, sector so that people put together packages you know because you know who's coming you yeah. know the numbers that yeah. are going to where come they're going to live they, so you know what will be the side attraction when they come around indeed yeah. so yeah. that they walk away with some memory of ghana in addition to their memory of Kofiana. absolutely yeah. uh, we've we've missed well, that maybe maybe there's a plan like that except that we yeah. all don't know yet what good is a plan uh, like so that if we don't know <laughs> right yeah, yeah. anyway well, we do see what's we, in the newspapers yeah. uh, we know men's gold yeah. definitely yeah, but how are the newspapers state. reporting it okay. there's a latest press release yeah we'll yeah. go through the headlines we'll come to the details of that indeed right so headlines in the ghanaian times and yes men's gold makes an appearance sec orders men's gold to suspend an in quote illegal trading operations also government directs a receiver of cbg to hold discussions with labor unions and then the banner headline world leaders arrive in accra lots of wonderful pictures of uh, the, the the prime minister of niger as well as the president of angola uh, the vice president sorry of angola uh, the president of namibia and the ethiopian president all of them here for kofi Annan. Uh, great, great, great um, images here in the Ghanaian Times. On the back page, 
uh, CRI to name new potato variety after Kofi Annan. We reported that yesterday. And delayed compensation payments cause land litigation, according to the LAP coordinator. I also have the Business and Financial Times. And uh, later we're talking about the city, but here on the front page, the banner headline says, Bank deposits slump to lowest in five years. Nobody's surprised at that with the banking crisis going on. Also, government must ensure free and fair trade. And aviation sector master plan on course, according to Kofi Ada, who's the new minister for that sector. More on that bank deposit slump story and others later, but mm. yeah. what else do we have? Okay. okay, let me do the Daily Dispatch. It also um, captures those headlines related to Dr. Kofi Annan, so to speak. Uh, uh, the, the, the Dispatch says Jerry Rawlins on Kofi Annan. He was a red breed. True, true, true. Very handsome man he was. Mm. Uh, Obed's book on NDC's Swedro Declaration. And this one is quite interesting. I, I, I read the 11 pager from Imani Ghana on Ghana and China, $2 billion box ideal. And uh, they have it on pages 4, 8, and 9. The Daily Dispatch newspaper really has that. That's a great, great one. On the back page of the dispatch is uh, Don't Panic, Your Deposits Safe, Unit Credit to Clients. And we know Unit Credit was one of the subsidiaries of, um, of the group that also had uh, Unibank. Let's do the daily graphic newspaper and the Today newspaper front page of the graphic. World leaders converge on Ghana to pay last respects to Kofi Annan. Men's gold, sec on collision course. NCA releases roadmap and invites applications for sale of spectrum in the 800 megahertz band digital dividend. Uh, President directs flags to fly at half mast. Uh, back page of the paper, portion of Sofalite Interchange will collapse. No, 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 wall collapse. So portion of Sofalite Interchange will collapse. Forestry Commission reviews allowances of YE beneficiaries. That's the YEA. Uh, and then we move on to the Today newspaper. Anand goes home today. NDC walls deepen as Alote Jacobs punches Esiedun Ketia. Again, not liter literally, though. Yeji fishing communities angry. SEC shuts down men's gold, but company says it's still open for business. That's it for the Today newspaper and the Daily Graphic. Mm. So we've not done the business finder. It has on the front page men's gold, uh, Security Exchange Commission, and showdown over directive sh to shut down interest paying business. We have a picture there of uh, Reverend Daniel Obamitete, the Director General of uh, the SEC. Loans, banks apparently lose 131 million Ghana cities in two years. New steel factory to create 3,000 jobs, we're told. Yo. Mm. Every day something is coming up. Indeed. Even though sometimes we don't see it on the ground. Mm. Um, they have a summary of uh, the market figures for you, the macroeconomic targets. Consumer price inflation. Please always take a look at that so that uh, when we're saying all that, we know what we have to benchmark on. Uh, interest rates, the Ghana uh, Stock Exchange volume numbers. So we have currencies, uh, they have 4.7. Always they should reflect the market, but this is a Bank of Ghana rate appropriately, and they have the commodities market. And uh, the ounce uh, prices for gold, crude oil, uh, barrel, uh, ton for cocoa, and then we have the pound mm -hmm. for coffee. Yeah. Um, have you done the Daily Guide headlines? Nope. nope okay. Nope, nope, uh, nope. Men's Gold fights SEC over closure order. That's on the front page of mm -hmm. the Daily they Guide. They fought the Bank of Ghana. Mm -hmm. They're fighting the SEC. Yeah. Uh, Kofi Annan's wife in tears. Flags fly half-mast for burial. Very poignant scenes yesterday. The NDC boys sue government over new regions. And 2,000 consolidated bank staff going. Yeah. Uh, these are all in the daily. Well, guide. let's do the last one. This one is quite interesting. If we can have the time, we, perhaps we can discuss the it. The Daily Alote, Statesman. Yeah, the Daily Statesman says Alote opens more fire on Inketia. General Mosquito, Esiedu Inketia, says NDC chief is very arrogant and indisciplined. There are a lot of. Um, <laughs> 
uh, issues going on and a lot of talk uh, towards each other, especially for this campaign, as they elect their national executives, the NDC we're talking about. Another ID1F rolls up 3,000 direct employment expected. I'm sure it's related to the steel factory to be established. All right. All right, so, so shall we start? Men's gold. Okay, men's um, gold, why not? Let's start with NBC, men's gold. Okay, okay so, get, so get the statement ready. You say there's a, there's a new statement. Yeah, there's there a new is, statement. There is. But, um, but let's start from the beginning. Yeah, mm -hmm. why do we do that? Yeah. So you see, Men's Gold is an organization that has been around for a while. And the problem has always been that the Ghana government hasn't been able to figure out which regulatory regime their business falls under. So the Bank of Ghana has been keeping an eye on them from the beginning. They used to be called Men's Bank and so forth. And so the Bank of Ghana had to keep correcting certain things they were doing to ensure that they didn't fall foul of banking laws because they insisted they were not a bank. So eventually that was resolved. But the Bank of Ghana kept an eye on them because people were transacting business with them, taking mm. gold there and getting a return on their investment. And so the Bank of Ghana uh, showed a concerned eye. Uh, Men's Gold insisted that what they were doing did not fall under the regulation of Bank of Ghana. The SEC last year, actually in September last year, issued a public notice indicating that they do not regulate Men's Gold. Somehow, in spite of that public notice, this year, when more attention was paid to Men's Gold, the SEC decided to look into you said them. September Again. last year, right? Yes. So this is anniversary. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess. So in August, uh, 23rd of August, a team from SEC went to Men's Gold, had a meeting with their uh, CEO, Mr. Nanaya Ofe. Uh, and, um, I thought it was an advisor. I thought it was an advisor. Yes. And an through. advisor, Reverend yeah. Derek mm. Akubia, was there with the CEO. Mm. Uh, so they met with SEC. They had a discussion. And after that meeting, the SEC then said, okay, actually, we believe that they are uh, actually Was it last year they went out 2016? Our, no, no this, in August this year. This year. This year. This year. Mm -hmm. So this literally, month. since last year, September, when they announced that uh, Men's Gold does not fall under their jurisdiction, mm. nothing happened until this year. Well, something did happen. The Bank of Ghana governor said that he was going to collaborate with other well, agencies. I, mean, I think this I mean, one in relation I mean, with nothing yeah, happened so at... SEC in yes. relation with uh -huh. yeah. so uh, and for me the interesting thing is this when they said last year that men's gold does not fall under their jurisdiction it was based on what what had they done what work had they done to decide that men's gold does not fall under their jurisdiction okay. anyway this year you can always go back and look at the the besides yeah. if there are no if there are no rules regulating that but you know that uh, something is indeed is going on and you need to regulate it you can always revise yeah but why say that they don't fall under your jurisdiction what was the reason for that announcement if you hadn't it, it actually on the details of that statement the you details have said men's gold did not fall under our jurisdiction in fact um the sec wrote to um, the minerals commission recently um in september and in that, they referred to this letter. They actually said, on the 23rd of, uh, they said, uh, in September 2017, the SEC issued a public notice indicating that it does not regulate men's gold. But then it goes on to say, on the 23rd of August, a team, that's this year, a team from SEC visited men's gold to seek greater insight into the nature of their operations. And the team met with Danae Orfe and Reverend Derek Ekubia, and the visit revealed that Men's Gold views its purchases of gold from the general public as a legitimate activity since they are purchasing collectibles. However, the aspect of Men's Gold's business, which involves the purchase slash deposit of gold collectibles from the public and contracts issued with guaranteed returns for its clients, amounts to dealing in securities. And then here they give a, a certain technical term, issuance of gold-backed depository notes to the public. They say that is what Men's Gold is doing. So I guess my question was, uh, last year, mm. did they not have a meeting with Men's Gold? Mm. If all it took 
was one meeting for them to determine that men's gold falls under their jurisdiction. Why didn't that meeting happen? They were pointed in, in the right direction, I guess. A lot happens. They were pointed in the direction of having in, a meeting. In the right direction. In the right direction of having a meeting. Uh, yeah, and arriving at this, uh, at this uh, yeah, conclusion. But yes. um, the confusion is about whether or not men's gold has been shut down completely. Okay, and they so clarify that that is not the case. That the SEC clarifies that that is not the case. They wrote a letter to men's gold. And at the end of that letter, they said, the directive does not preclude you from continuing your other business of assaying, purchasing gold from small-scale miners and export of gold. But what they are shutting down immediately, according to that letter, is the business of trading in gold collectibles with guaranteed returns to clients, which constitutes, in essence, dealing in securities. So this is the, the 7th necessary. September um, letter. Okay. And then yesterday was 12, right? Yes. So following... Uh, this going public, even though yesterday wasn't seventh, mm -hmm. this went public, mm -hmm. and Men's Gold decided to issue a statement, yeah. which was dated 12 September mm -hmm. 2018. We're going to share that with you because yeah. in that statement, they are, they are also saying that they they remain open. They are in business. It's almost like a direct response to this 7 September yeah. uh, one that was issued. It says the management of Men's Gold Ghana. Uh, finds it very unfortunate that a letter relating to business discussions between the organization and the Securities and Exchange Commission has found its way to the public. Men's Gold, in the wake of the Bank of Ghana warning to the public to desist from doing business with the organization, availed itself to all relevant state institutions for various consultations and dialogue designed to arrive at a productive and sustainable resolution. One of such organizations is the Securities and Exchange Commission, with whom we have been hopeful of arriving at a cordial resolution to all matters, if any. Then we submit to its standards if we must. Okay. This needless leak, uh, believed to be coming from the Securities and Exchange Commission, is, to say the least, in very bad faith and distasteful, as it defeats our confidence in the body and an affront to cooperation. We totally condemn it. As a law-abiding organization, we have referred the matter to our lawyers and rest assured the right action shall be taken. We hereby assure all our cherished customers that neither Men's Gold as a business entity nor any of its products has been shut down. We urge for calm as we deal with this matter to its logical conclusion. Your gold trades are very safe and business is proceeding as usual. And that's signed, management, men's gold, Ghana. So this is from okay. yesterday. All right. It looks like that didn't work because yeah. later in the day, uh, certainly maybe by close of day, they issued this other statement, which I'm going to share. It says, Gold Vault Market Product Services temporarily halted. Following the notice from the Securities and Exchange Commission of Ghana issued on the 7th day of September 2018, the management of Men's Gold Ghana Limited in its bid to bring some finality to the issues once and for all has decided to place a temporal halt on all extra value payments and any new business related to our gold vault market. The halt takes effect from Thursday 13th September, which is today, and will be in place for six days, by which time we believe all pending issues related to the gold uh, vault market product would have been ironed out. We are certain this halt would not go beyond the 19th day of September 2018. This decision, though very unfortunate or unfavorable to us, has been informed by our commitment to the rule of law, absolute respect of state agents, agencies, and total submission to the state. We would, as usual, count on your understanding and cooperation during this period. They give a, a certain phone number if you want to call and assign management men's goals. So I think bowing to pressure now. But let's talk about some of the things that went down as media men and women you know, went over there to report the incident. At least two persons that I mm. know, one is our colleague, Karen, well, uh, and Karen another Doji. reporter from TV3 uh, were assaulted, really. Yeah, but, but I think before we get to the subject of the, of the personnel or our colleagues who were assaulted, um, one, we, we have um, a crisis of almost three or four magnitude. One, of um, the trading itself of men's gold and vis-a-vis -vis the regulation. Mm. Two, now we have a public relation crisis. And three, we have a customer relationship crisis. Now, at the end of the day, the first, if we take the issue of the regulation, 
um, is the back and forth as to which entity or sector will be regulating it. And we have to appropriately look at the activities of men's gold. Mm. They say that they deal in gold deposits. So I think um, as it is now, the vehicle they use was you go and buy from an entity and then you bring the purchasing order or form or receipt of what you have bought, uh, bought they say it's in the form of gold, mm. and then you bring it to their office, which is the men's gold, and then they, they, they say they, they buy it from you, and they say they're keeping it. And if you want to take it home, fine. If you want them to keep it, they keep it at an interest for you. Now, it also means that they are trading in a derivative. They are trading in uh, something that is of value. It has to fall under a certain regulation one way or the mm. other. Yeah. Uh, what is baffling has been uh, the inability of our mm. various regulatory institutions to place it under either one or all of them. Mm. And, and that, for me, is a concern because before we found out that men's gold was all operating, it had been operating as men's bank. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, because they also wanted to streamline the activities in such a way that perhaps they didn't want the entities to look too much into the activities or, or perhaps also they wanted to give value to their customers, then we should have also found a way in the public interest to protect the customers in a way. Because the regulators didn't, were not proactive, they didn't have the foresight to first ask them, look, before you started a week or two, you should come to us for a certain license. We have waited either for months, for years, for them to operate. People have invested money, in, money mm -hmm. in them. And in order to protect people who are your citizens, you need to be proactive in some of the things that you do. Now, what has brought men's gold currently, in my, in my estimation, which is where the customer and their investment relationship is concerned, is the fact that there seem to be this hue and cry, the up and down and the media reports which is creating a certain panic. Is it the media report or is the CEO who decides to react as soon as something is said? Well, it's part of the and media report. And then we report. feed on it? It's part of the media report. His reaction, the regulatory institution's reaction, and then the media, the media reaction uh, create a certain atmosphere for customers of uncertainty and to create the panic. And any institution, whether you have the highest capitalization, um, you have the highest of assets, if we have panic withdrawals, you will collapse. It's not the first time it's going to happen in the history of the world, mm. definitely. Because each institution or all institutions who value their profits, value their objectives as far as their revenue and wealth creation is concerned, they have treasury departments. And the responsibility of the treasury department is to trade the assets of the company that will bring it value. Mm. And that definitely, you don't expect the money to be put in the account and be waiting for you to come and collect as a customer. It will not happen. No institution does that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, um, there's an interesting detail in the letter that the SEC wrote to... The 7th the, September? Yes. Uh, actually, was that also dated 7th September? I, I believe so. No, this one was earlier, 3rd mm. of September. Okay. Uh, they wrote this letter to the Minerals Commission. Mm. This was before they wrote to uh, Men's Gold. And there, there are a lot of details in there of what uh, the conclusions that the SEC had come to following their meeting at Men's Gold. And there is an interesting detail here I want to read. It says, uh, it is established that Men's Gold is a licensee of uh, Minerals Commission to purchase gold from licensed sellers and to export same. However, since 2016 or thereabouts, it has come to our notice that men's gold, in addition to its primary business of assaying of gold and export of gold, also sells through its agent brew marketing and purchases gold collectibles from the general public. The purchase of collectibles are done through its trading platform into which the public can place their gold assets for a guaranteed return of 4 to 10% monthly. That is 48 to 120 percent per annum depending on the quality and quantity of the gold deposited it is unclear the nature of trading conducted to achieve such returns that's the point i'm i'm seeking to highlight uh, that to the sec they couldn't understand the nature of the trading conducted by men's gold to achieve these returns and it continues and our opinion is that the return offered does not communicate the true nature of risk 
investor, investors are assuming. Mm. So what it is here is that the SEC doesn't understand the secret formula, if you like, that men's gold is applying to make profit. They don't understand it. And so they are forming an opinion that in, in the absence of that understanding, there is a risk. Okay. So I guess that's why they followed up. Yes, but to I, have I, that but, meeting. Yes, but but the point I'm making is that the decisions are being made in the absence of certainty, in the absence of understanding. And SEC is admitting it. We don't understand this thing. So you see, how do you properly regulate something that you don't understand? Mm. And how do you go about achieving that understanding? It may be that men's gold guards their trading formula as their, their, their trade secret. But even Coca-Cola has to account to um, authorities for their secret formula, which only a handful of people in the world know. But one of that handful of people is the regulator, so that the people, the public who are buying Coca-Cola... Can be assured. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there is a need for that understanding to be gained. Yeah. But the question is, in the absence of that understanding, how can we be sure that it is actually the SEC that should be regulating? SEC. Perhaps once it is explained, it will turn out that it's a different mm -hmm. agency. Well, that the, should the, be so the Bank of Ghana stepped it. in at some point. Back in May, the governor did indicate that they were going to do something about men's gold. No, there was what the Bank of Ghana so, did indicate was that they were exploring avenues to do something. So this is they it. didn't know what that to do. We would soon take action against uh -huh. gold buying firm Men's Gold uh -huh. after preliminary investigations found it was taking deposit without approval. In fact, uh -huh. that's what prompted that tweet yes. from the the Not men's the, from the Men's Gold yes. boss. Yes, but the fact is, but the Minerals Commission. We know the Minerals Commission. Uh, um, PMMC also stepped in at some point. It looks like everybody's been trying to find if if this is this is my area, if this is my zone, if I am the regulator. You know. And and none of them have been able to conclude mm. until now. Yeah. The SEC is claiming SEC. men's goals. SEC, right? Is that what I said? You know, SEC. 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 Yeah. No, I think it's SEC somewhere. Maybe S Nigeria. SEC. SEC sounds like uh, yeah. 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 I should just say SEC and be safe. Mm. <laughs> yeah. SEC is cool. Yeah. Uh, until now, that SEC is saying that they mm. fall under them. But even that was disputed in the statement Men's Gold released yesterday. Mm. It's the one that we've received today, yeah. which now seems to say that it's okay, interesting. They, they, they are now willing to work mm. with SEC. And so um, they will suspend this thing for six days. Yes. They yeah. have put a limit of six days on mm. it. I wonder where that came from, whether that's from SEC whether it's men's gold themselves determining mm. that it will be for six days. But they say that by the end of these six days, things will be clarified yeah. mm. and we will know the way forward. And, and, and I think on, if the Bank of Ghana also, perhaps with all its expertise it has, wants to look at how the market operates, and it's not peculiar to our market, they, 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 they seem to be going round in their minds. Where do you take a certain amount of capital go invest in there and then you get those returns that they are paying the customers mm. i think that is what uh, seems to be uh, mm. a wonder to many who mm. live in the mm. in the eighth eighth world i think so it's a speak. shame though that yeah. um, yesterday and i i have her name now um, Nanekia of TV3 and Karen Nanekia, um, our, our colleague uh, Abraham, Karen, uh, so mm. Karen was heckled uh, this is Nanekia's account Karen was heckled uh, most i had to threaten them with my pregnancy uh, before they let go. They Nanipia. dragged Karen to their premises and came back looking for me, but I quickly left the area because I was in a lot of pain after the confrontation and exchanges with them. But she says that she's well. We know that Karen is also well. I think it's a shame. Yeah. Pe people still don't understand our work, eh? It, it's sad. And you know, whichever staff of Men's Go did this, if, if they insist that they submit to the state, if as a mm. company they insist that they submit to the will of the state, then you need to sanction those staff and hand them over to the police for assaulting members of the press. This is unacceptable. Yeah. There is a limit, okay? We all operate under the law. And if even, you know, <laughs> men's gold does not recognize any uh, 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 regulating authority, I think we all fall under the, 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 the police. So please, let's do the right thing. You can't manhandle 
members of the press. In fact, yeah. you can't handle manhandle members of the public. Yeah. You can't Anybody, do that. Yeah. And this is a pregnant woman. A pregnant woman that you were abusing in this way. Mm. It's really unacceptable. Yeah, and it's a shame. it doesn't help your public image. No. So my, my advice is please, those individuals, particular individuals who did this, you know, I, I suspect they were not ordered by men's gold to go and do this. So you should prove that that is not your mm. culture by sanctioning them, handing them over to the police so that they are dealt with. And then others will learn not to do this. But please, an right. important legal point to make. Um, no customer of men's gold has as yet reported to the media that they have been unable to obtain their funds. It is important for us to make that statement. All through this, no customer of men's gold has ever reported to the media that they have been unable to receive That's appropriate. their funds. That's appropriate. Okay, uh, so there are other important stories in the newspapers. Unfortunately, time is not our best friend now, so we have to let it go. Uh, but just to say that one of the retaining walls of the Sofaline Interchange in Kumasi has fallen off due to heavy rains recorded in the metropolis in recent times. I'm picking this from the back page of the Daily Graphic newspaper. You can read on. Uh, and once we report... Authorities take things serious, so we, we, they need to pay attention to this by all means. Uh, it's also to say that uh, today, Thursday, 13 September, burial service and final interment. Mr. Kofi Annan will be at the conference center. Services commence at 9 a.m. at the Accra International Conference Center. It will be attended by UN officials, heads of states, uh, diplomatic delegations, and the general public. There will be a private burial at midday at the military cemetery with full military owners and a 17-gun salute. And we'll bring all that to you live here on Joy News. I want to say good morning to Dr. Asante, Roland's friend, now my friend, who is yeah. in Hollywood. Dr. Asante. Yeah. Because when I go for my, my the plastic, plastic surgeon. surgery, <laughs> when yeah. I'll come and you show you. For your yeah. Tell me surgery. what you want me to work on. I'll, if I'll, it ain't broke, don't try to fix when it. When I'm 45, I'll go for plastic, plastic ah. surgery. And then go for hair receding line surgery as well. Because no. my, you know. <laughs> So sure your hair will be intact. You yeah. have more hair than I do. Oh no. my God. By choice, of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's yeah. uh, a special programming today uh, because today we we bid final farewell mm. to Mr. We'll be going live to the. the so a continental conference, definitely, definitely, definitely. Mama V, will you beat me up if I issue a quick caution to the public? Patrick yeah. will, but go ahead. Okay. Once he hasn't said so, anything. Yes, yeah, so let me be quick. Okay. What's it about? So uh, there's a headline. Yeah, about money. Business. Yes, Business and Financial Times. Bank deposits slumped to the lowest in five years. I think you can understand why. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of confidence in the banking sector, so not many people are depositing money there. But what it means is that there is a lot of cash around, cash at home. Cash in cars, mm. cash in places. And this is going to be an indicator to our money. So yeah, please, let's be back. careful. Let's be careful. The reason well, why but the we're banking... But we're talking the city mm. later this morning yes, yes, uh, yes. as well mm. here on our show. We're talking about how it's been depreciating so quickly, so fast. And it's interesting, we haven't heard from Dr. Baumia, right? But good for us. I have uh, a hint we've heard that from an advisor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but um, I have a hint that he'll be speaking tomorrow okay. in, in Tamale. Watch it, watch it, watch We don't know what he'll You'll go to Tamale and go and speak on the city. No, there's something happening in Tamale. Okay. He'll be there. So maybe and he'll apparently he will take the opportunity to, to say something about watch the city. In Tamale. Yes. Watch it. But yesterday we spoke to um, someone at the Bank of Ghana. Uh, he is the director of financial markets. So mm. their team manages exactly this yeah. you know, the cd and its performance against other currencies <laughs> and a very revealing conversation don't miss a moment of it right here on the am show stay with us